Thank you. <laughs> yes, just us. Sir. Yes, sir. I guess this is the new norm for traveling. See, it helps. We're happy anyway. <laughs> what a cluster. There's not a lot of people here. That's true. So There's far. not that many people it's, so far. It's moving along. Thanks. <laughs> we got through. The hardest part's over. Uh, where are you going? Oh, <laughs> going to the Bay Island. Oh, she's festive. I love it. We're not the only ones. I oh, know. She matched it good, huh? <laughs> Hat and pants. Let's do it. No cruise ships yet? No yet, man. When, when are Next they saying? Year. Next year? Next year, yeah, yeah, man. No cruise ship yet. They've been gone for a while, huh? <laughs> yes, now they <laughs> are. I like it, now you Yes. <laughs> Happy New Year. Yeah. yeah. Festive. Yeah. Festive. Bye bye 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of construction. Oh, yeah. Hello. Permission to come aboard? For about 17 years, been a lot of different places around the world. Uh, as a chef, as a captain, as a video pro. So, done a little bit of everything. Uh, welcome to the Rotan Aggressor. My name is Jesse, born and raised on the island. I'll be one of your dive masters this week. We are over here right now. We're in French Harbor. Los Fuertes is the town uh, up above us. Um, we are right here, and we're going to be diving, hopefully, here, here, here. Getting ready to leave the harbor for day one of diving. The crew's getting us all ready to leave the French Harbor Marina so we can head out to sea and get in the water. And we're off. Head out of the French Harbor. Bay Islands Roatan on the uh, aggressor 120 foot yacht on the fishing boats. Monster season just started this day. Definitely got a rain squall through the sunrise. Thank you. 
They've had a lot of rain and uh, hurricanes over on the mainland, so you're getting a lot of water uh, runoff from there that's creating some uh, not best visibility. It's not too bad. The last dive we were on was not very good, so we moved the boat further down to the west end of the island and uh, getting a little closer to uh, the airport now. So uh, we're going to move down here. We're going to do two dives here at this spot. We're going to do a dive right now. We're getting ready to go in the water at 430 and then we'll do our night dive here too. There goes Captain. Check the visibility in the current. There's the uh, the dive schedule for the rest of the evening. 4 o'clock dive 4, 6 o'clock dive number 5, and then uh, dinner. Well, this is a critter board. Some of the things that we've seen already. We've got pipe fish, juke, tiny juvenile drums. we got some uh, scrawl file fish, southern work stingray. Normals, lobsters, more eels, jawfish, and then here we are. That's where we started at, and we moved the boat three times. Go check and see. Make sure Captain's okay back here. He went in by himself, so didn't have nobody with him. And right on cue, here he comes. What you think, Cap? It's the biz is bad, but right when you get a little all the way to the line. Be at the bottom is the current not bad current, but it's good current. Yeah. What you doing, Deaver? Oh, well, I'm going to so that you can get one of the That dive. And you know what? There might be some octopus. <laughs> That's all you got to say to me two times. And baby, I'm there. I love them. Yeah, night dive coming on. Beautiful night. Crew's getting ready. Jesse, going in with us for the night dive? No, hair He's scared. He's scared of the night. Scared the of night, night scared of the night. <laughs> Good man right here. Good DM. Thank you, man. <laughs> Thank you. 
us to jump in the water. He just yeah, had a good breakfast. That's right. It's going to be a good day, man. Yep. Yeah, I'm yeah. Done. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. So we just moved the boat from the uh, south side of the island around to the west end tip over on the north side. And uh, had some rain this morning. The squall come through. And here's a beautiful rainbow. Good morning. Everybody's getting ready. Day two. That day. Day two. station. How rude. Resort and you have the Mayan Princess Resort. Everything is right there. This is a busy section of the island. As far yeah, the water temperature was only about 78 degrees, so it was a little cool because there's no sun. As you can see, it's a little overcast. So, what do we feels have? Good to jump on. Island style beignets. Oh, with honey and powdered sugar on the top. I love it. One, <laughs> Uno, dos. Uno, dos. Oh, beautiful. Mm. Napkin? You can just rinse off in the water. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank right, you. Enjoy. It's still sprinkling. It's sprinkling all day. Rainy season in Honduras. Moving the boat over, fixing the drop down on the shipwreck Aguilar. Don't know much about it yet, but uh, I think the, uh, the hole sits in 110 feet of water. The top of the boat's probably in about 55 feet of water. We're drawing a wreck. It's called El Aguilar. Nice. Yeah. Beautiful dive. Kevin is the artiste the board uh, that I'm wrestling here. Okay, that's a good one. That's a pretty good job. We're up to take the dive side of the water. 
All right, all right. Welcome to El Aguila, which is the Eagle. Anybody know what resort this is? Anthony's Key. That is Anthony's Key Resort, okay? At any rate, we are on the wreck. We are attached to the stern at about 80 feet, okay? The water is a little murky. We know on top. Uh, this is what uh, Herman said. The boat is more over here. It's not keeping social distance. It's over here a little bit more. It's out this way, okay? The amidships, there's really not a lot to see, okay? Uh, but it is pretty neat, but it's deep. Follow Kevin. I think the highlight of the dive is the bow section, and especially this king post. What do we see on the king post? Small stuff. Uh, Christmas tree worms, okay? Christmas tree worms, arrow crabs. Uh, neck crabs, there you go, neck crabs. All kinds of stuff on this king post, okay? All right, so we're gonna do one dive unless it turns crystal clear at 60 feet and everything, the heaven's gates open up for you guys, all yes. right? Do your three minutes and surface. It's relatively calm. I don't think there's much current, okay? But it is deep, or we're, we're in deep water. So stay shallow, go forward, follow Kevin. Look especially. <laughs> Kevin's going in for a DM on this one. Janelle said she don't want any fish. service from the road pan aggressor.
get Foxy's tonight, but we are on a boat on the water with a beautiful sunset. So, not a bad situation. Fixing to drop a load for a night dive. Cayos Cochinos Sea Mountains, okay? Uh, we travel uh, from Rotan to Cayos Cochinos about 15 to 16 miles. It's a beautiful sunrise, and we've been traveling now for about 45 minutes, I guess. We're coming up on the uh, mainland of Honduras on a beautiful sunrise Christmas Eve morning. Kevin's in the water. I'm doing the line from the mooring. All gearing up, getting ready. I think we're going to do four dives out here. That's the mainland of Honduras, and we we're sitting on a seamount, and it's called what, Kevin? Cayos Cochino Seamount. And in, in the depth, and give me the lowdown on that. The top of the seamount is around 45 feet, and it just continues dropping and dropping all the way into the blue from 100 to about. 
I would say 300 feet down below. This comes up like a little mountain. All right, so awesome. it's really beautiful. Got a lot of fish life as well. You get some big stuff out here, like big wahoos, barracuda. Sometimes you get lucky with some big shark, like reef sharks and stuff, and nor sharks as well. So a sponge seed is dropped down to 70 to 80 feet of water, and then go 90, and then go deeper. We might stay around 70 or 80 feet of water. Then when you're ready to come back to the boat, go to the mooring line at 15 feet of water. Do your safety stop in 15 feet of water. Next year, what's the name of the side? Cayos Cochino Rock. That's the cows Cochinos, and then we're diving the cows Cochino Sea Mouth. That's a mouthful. Look Cows. at this day. Completely amazing. Beautiful day on the water. It's it's Rotan, he's giving me the lowdown. These damn natives, they rename all the marine biology. So what's a parrotfish called? Squab. Squab? What is that? Okay, but my favorite one, octopus that we all refer to. What do you islanders call it? We call it sea cat. Sea cat? What? That yeah. don't make no sense. <laughs> um, what was it? What's some of the other marine creatures? Like the slipper lobster, we call them bulldoza. Yeah, like the, the Tanya's favorite one that looks like the cockroach, the slippery yeah. lobster. They're called what? Bulldoza. Bulldoza. Yeah. See, they got their own native tongue down here. Vino comprende. Uh, 
Um, lots of swimming fish. Did, uh, we didn't see a lot of barracuda in the last site, did we? Not 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 not. You usually see tons, so maybe some of them are deer jacks, uh, silver sides, things like that. But there's a little of everything, okay? Um, that's what I'm going to do. I just want to check the boring, and then I'm going to turn around and go over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to this. I'm going to go down to the pit, all the way down, not on the surface. Let's go see if Janelle and Milton's got a snacks going. Hi guys! Yeah. <laughs> Here they come, they're the best! <laughs> this is the dining hall, the computer desk is over there. Pretty awesome place. It's all festive. You can see the uh, Christmas decorations going on the roof. It's right. awesome. Look, right on cue, Janelle with food. I Conk love it. Fritters. Conk fritters. Did you hear that? That is the best appetizer in the world. So, 
Here we are. Last dive of the trip. Last dive of the trip, but Merry Christmas. It's been a good morning. It's a good day. We're blessed and thankful. Happy birthday, Jesus. We're going down to Mary's place for the final dive. It's a beautiful day on the water. A couple other dive boats out there. So the crew's telling us not to feed them or bring them back, the other divers. Leave them down there. I'm pretty sure their accommodations aren't quite up to standard. Yeah, we don't have any room. More room on the boat. Yeah, we don't have we enough do, room. Good diving. Over and out. I see a forest in these trees And I don't know if I even believe But I I'm gonna find it I see an ocean in these waves And I don't know if you heard me say it But I I'm gonna find it And I'm gonna go
right thing. He throwing Kevin under the bus. This morning we just finished our shark knock and Kevin brought us back up with some lines of the sharks and kind of the things that were hooked on them. It's an epic dive. Is that all fishing line? It's all fishing line, man. I got this one from one of the sharks. I got this one from another one. And I checked this one off for another one. It was different from like three different sharks down there. Oh. They got caught up in the line from the fisherman off the boat. So yeah, the shark that was pretty amazing. Is that, is that uh, commercial fishermen or just people coming from the mainland over fishing that spot? That is people coming from the shore and from the mainland that's fishing around here. And they got, why are they fishing there? For the sharks or they after something else? No, they're after something else. They're not fishing the sharks. They're the sharks go and get the wrong bait. And that's when they get all hooked up into their line. Yeah. And the fishermen have to cut their line or they just pop it and take it. Because this was a big piece that took off the water. Yeah, that's a lot of fishing line. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. yeah. So that's why you ever, you ever find any teeth or anything out there? Actually, I got a gift for Tanya. What? Yeah. <laughs> Where is that? Let me look for it. It's a Christmas present from Kevin. It's oh a nice shark teeth. Really tiny. Look at that. A real shark teeth. I mean, I, I saw it. I witnessed it. Thank you. Very good. Very good. So bringing the yacht back in, but uh, Captain's got a challenge. He got a little north wind pushing me. Yeah. He's swinging the stern around. Point the bow back toward the west. Let's see if we can't back this bad boy into Romeo's. Rented this villa down here in Parrot Tree on the uh, east side of uh, Roatan here in the Bay Islands. Uh, this is our Jeep rental. It's filthy right now because we've had a lot of rain down here during the rainy season. Uh, but uh, it's definitely doing its trick because we've had to put it in full wheel drive several times. So this is the back of the house garage, two car garage. And then you walk up through here and you have a view of uh, the Bay Area right here. Uh, nice swimming pool, good size, infinity. Beautiful down through here. It's a gorgeous day today. They had to do some serious excavating to get these houses built. If you look down there, it's almost a total straight drop off. But that's all right. There's some beautiful homes up in here. It's all gated private community gorgeous place from right here the owner of the place him and his wife Sean they uh they're in one of the Carolinas I don't remember but uh here's Miss Deaver welcome <laughs> to Bayview Vista <laughs> this, this house is adorable here's your kitchen honey look at this granite countertops are beautiful the lanterns that they have over here they left us a little welcome gift yeah. They everything. We got a gas stove. It's small, but it, uh, it'll definitely work. We got the restroom in here. We got beautiful, beautiful amenities. Amenities. Plenty of room with the drawers. Slide open the showers. Yeah. I love the floor and the bathroom in here and the rain shower head. And then this, this is a, turn that bottom in. And the colors, too. This is a, hit the, yeah. this is a map of the Bay Islands. Uh, you can see Utilia here. This is the main island road, Tan Guanaha. This is Kyle's Kachinas where we were diving last week when we were on the aggressor. This is the mainland off of Honduras. We bounced all around the islands last week, so we're just kind of land based this week. It's a one bedroom, but they got this. Uh, they have this Murphy bed yeah. that you can use for another couple or just another fold child. it down. You can stand, you can hook it here. You have plenty of room. <laughs> And here is the bedroom, which is just as adorable as the rest of the house. 
all your clothes. That's it. And then uh, walk outside and you got and then, this beautiful then, view out here. You see this? Oh yeah, this uh This is so cute. Her motif is exquisite. This is a note I got about Oh, it's been about 20 years now. 20 for, years. Uh, this is given to me by Kevin. It says uh, a donation to your next visit to Roatan. And, uh, we haven't been here in 13 years, but hadn't seen that note in 15 years. But I ran across it while we were packing, coming out. He had some, he had some lumpiras, which is the currency down here attached to it. So we definitely spent a few of them on some cold beers, thinking about him. Thank you, Kevin Wagner. <laughs> That's it. Still raining, too much rain. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the sun? <laughs> Hiding. Maybe tomorrow. Well, they say this weather's broken, maybe this evening. Okay. No, okay. That's good. good. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Have a good day. We'll see you. See you. Bye. Jonesville here little community and this is the hole in the wall but we're in Jonesville headed down to the hole in the wall and this is where you park to get there to get there you go via water taxi so this is our morning adventure to get we're going to hang out with the X-Packs they're all headed to the hole in the wall Sunday afternoon X-Packs Oh, Bob, who built the place, he wrecked his boat a long time ago, and he said, what the hell, I'll just turn it into a restaurant. And he's got one of the best lobster, all-you-can-eat Sunday buffets. But unfortunately, he passed away about 10 years ago. And it is literally built into the wall. Hopefully, a water taxi will come by, because you can't get there driving. There's no roads leading to this restaurant. Hola. <laughs> now we're safe. <laughs> how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. So, uh, this time you get around the Bay Islands uh, down here in Roatan. They don't have a lot of taxis that run this far down east. They all stay up in uh, Coxon Hole. So, uh, you gotta call the water taxi to come pick you up. So, that's a restaurant on the very end down there. You see the green top to the house sticking out. What do you think, Diva? I think I'm hungry. What are you going to eat? I'm going to eat some red beans, rice, lobster. Did she say lobster? <laughs> so now you can see the house built into the side of the hill over there. Yeah, so when he wrecked his ship, he took all the wood off the boat and built the restaurant. Yeah, it looks like you got some Trump supporters down here. And all I can tell you now is welcome to the hole in wall at Roatan, Honduras. <laughs> 13 years since I've been in this place, but uh, not much has changed. Imagine that. <laughs> this is Captain Bob's house. He's the one that originally opened it. Uh, unfortunately, he's no longer with us, passed away. So Captain Ed, who's behind the bar back there, has now has a land lease on the property. The kitchen used to be up in the house, now it's down here on the deck. Hi, we got a few more visitors over today. They're locals, they've got to be up back. So got a few more arriving at the hole in the wall. Tell me about it, Chewy. What you doing up there? Let me see them pearly whites. Show me your teeth. Show me your teeth. Are you kissing them, Lynn? <laughs> what do you see? <laughs> you 
your your feet and hands are so soft. And they're off, leaving the hole in the wall. And then they're worth three. I know. Yeah. Yeah. All you can eat lobster and everything yeah. for $13. Yeah. This is Erica. Time. She's the chef. She delivered the best lobster and shrimp. Delicious. I mean, can't even tell you. But anyhow, got to be here to see it. That's two in a row she's done. And I missed both of them. Her luck has run out. Can't beat that, can you? You're close to a year trying to get in here. I wouldn't let him in. These are the girls. They were helping cook in the kitchen with Erica, and they did a good job. Got it. Erica got it in. That's funny. That's hilarious. That Martha Stewart putting people on a cruise ship, sending them down to the hole in the wall. They're here for an hour, and they get back on the cruise ship. And they love it. And they love it. They call me up. Yeah, Hello. Yeah, they contact. Hello. Yeah, we all set up. Yeah, yeah. Hello. We're good. Hey, okay. Merry Christmas. Same to you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no mask here. Yeah, no, no, you, you oh, can't. They're dirty. You don't allow it, baby. They're oh, dirty. okay. My bad. Yeah. I, I, I can't do that. Oh, thank you. Yeah, bye bye. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Y'all take care. I, yeah. Ed was telling me the Islanders news people coming down here because he said, you cannot wear a mask in my restaurant. So. Yeah, somebody, somebody got to do something about that guy, you know? That guy. That guy. That, that corrupt <laughs> head down there at the hole in the wall. He messing up the system. We got it figured out. We... He ain't following the sheep family down there. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> He needs his Trump Lagoon hat on. There we go. I tell you, these damn islanders between Foxy Callwood out and Yo Sam Dyke and fucking Captain Ed down here at a hole in the wall, they gonna make America great one way or the other. Need long distance. Trump, Trump, baby, Trump. Trump, Trump, stop, dope. Yes, yeah, people like me, it's probably America's better because I'm down here. That's. <laughs> Amen to that, Cap. Bye, Tracy. Bye, Trace. Oh, it's water in here. <laughs> I love it. She's multi tax Behind the grill, serving up lobster, and she's driving the boat. It's night time. We're in the middle of the bay. Nice, calm, smooth water. Night time in the hood. We pulled into Big Little Key just to get some ice, so we're down here in the community. It's a little poor, which of course is Honduras and the island. You can hear the kids screaming, somebody saying, Mom, Mom! And then there's the chickens in the front. Randall walked back into that door right there. Here he comes. I guess he couldn't get any ice. We need ice for our island girl. We're at Arches Iguana Reservoir. We're going to come and check out the iguanas, and we're on Little French Cay. Yeah, I'm on. There's about 15 in here. Look at all these, honey. Whole bunch of iguanas up in the trees. How often do you feed the iguanas? They're fed every day. If they come down, they're, they hold food here for them. When they come down out of the yes, trees? Sir. But yeah. I hold the weight on, the plant, they have to wait on the sun to boost them up to get them up yeah sure yeah. that makes sense yes mom without the sunlight it'll do anything this that boat where's it out of sherman this they own a little place there on the east end of the big island there and the cut that separates the two uh -huh. places but they got a little uh dock down here farther it's right out of little french key district that's a nice dock boat yes sir yeah they shut everything down with the cruise ships not coming in and no, stuff. sir and i think it will be a long time you think? Yeah. Well, I don't know. They're rolling out the vaccines now. Yeah, that's a so, good help. Yeah, yeah, that can help.
Yes, sir. Yeah, we're going to walk around. Yes, um, ma'am. Um, so if that's you could give me a minute, I could show you some tarp on a hoe here if you want to see them. Sure. We're headed down to West End for some lunch, I think. Oh, yeah? Yes, sir. Okay. How long are you plan to be on the road time? Well, we've already been here for about 10 days. Now, if you could stay another 10, I could make you an official islander. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you give me a few minutes, I'd go in over here by my freezer and pull some data up so you can see my tarp on it. This is the owner <laughs> of this was, um, iguana farm. Look at all the bait he's got over there. A whole bag full. Oh, he's come out. <laughs> Yeah, I just threw the whole thing in here, let them eat it up. <laughs> no, you're good. Bunch it the frost? Yeah. Windy roads to get around, but at least they're uh, paved now. When we used to come down here, we didn't have no paved roads. Yeah, they're so, paved. The roads are good. Yeah, the roads are real good. Much um, improved. <laughs> We're at Sandy's Bun Bakery, sorry, couldn't remember. We're going to have us a little cheeseburger in paradise with a view. What do you, what do you think about this uh, concrete road that we oh, had there? Oh my goodness. 13 years ago when we were here, this was dirt road, Rock. not paved, dirt road. It's paved now. It has changed so much in 13 years. Just left the West End and just had a good lunch there on the water. And now we're headed to West Bay. Um, same, same thing over there. We'll do a lot of walking around large beach, check out some of the resorts, West Bay Village, Morgan, the Mayan Princess, kind of check things out there. It's a rainy day on island, but we're at the beach club. However, we just aren't getting the, the sun rays shining through to spark it all up, but we're going to check it out with no people here. Yeah, this is amazing. Look at the dock. There's a little private inlet island over there. Uh, good for snorkeling. Actually, that's a restaurant. Yeah, that's a restaurant over there, ain't it, man? You can tell this would be absolutely gorgeous down here. I'm shocked the dock is in excellent shape. Some of y'all may have been here if you've been on a cruise ship that ported down in this part of Central America. It's called, what's the name of the restaurant, babe? Lionfish. Yeah, they sh they Louis, serve li Louis, Louis, Louis lionfish. Louis lionfish. Yeah. That's so it. we just arrived in Oak Ridge, and it's a very poor town as well. But they have paved roads. It's really cool. Kind of a big village. Really poor. All the water's running down into this village. This is the Oak Ridge little marina harbor, and some of the homes here. The back side of them. We're on a good paved road. But right now, we're just kind of touring the out, just on the outskirts of Oak Ridge. It's something to see. We're headed out. I knew we're going to go get some ice for our uh, Island Girl drink and headed east. The sun's out. It's a beautiful morning sun. We've had lots of rain and the sun is shining down like no other. Stopped on the side of the road to get ice and they're also doing water. So we just got over to the east end of the island, uh, fixing to go have lunch up at Five Bay. This place is absolutely amazing, beautiful. Sun's starting to come out, things are looking up. This is uh, what you call getting away from it all and continuing to practice a little social distancing with the COVID pandemic. What do you think, Miss Deva? Oh, I think it's a happy day now because the sun's out and the waves are coming in, we're going to get to walk on the beach and have the sun kiss our bodies just a little bit. Yeah, it's gorgeous down here. Headed up to a Pie Bay restaurant. That's the building up there on the hill. This is a very, very east end of uh, Roatan. And uh, we, we used to come down here when Kevin Darlene had their place. We'd come down here and eat lunch all the time. 
here's the sign for it absolutely gorgeous place it's a you can come down here and stay in a overnight it's a resort that's a restaurant i even believe my brother rich and fish were here once with us <laughs> many years ago food's absolutely amazing here yeah here's your little look out over the water that's the beach some of the rooms up here i remember they uh got them built into the side of the cliff and you literally are hanging out over the water we're out here at the back of Paya bay resort uh tanya and i were out here 10 15 years ago and they were just building this it was a, a dive dive place and there's the boat slips and uh i've got some photos of me taking a shower back here rinsing off on a hot day we had great hopes for this place but it doesn't look like it's transpired or they've kept it up obviously so all the mango trees grown into the boat slips never seems to amaze me how many people dump money into projects and then they see them go to waste because you know this was not cheap to build down here and then boom there's your inlet out to the big blue pool seen the bartender down here maybe two times all day he just comes down and check on us <laughs> look at the big iguana up there love that sign Can you read it yep pretty much <sighs> so beautiful down here I love the way they did this walking trail beach I had a great day doing some photos and we packed up headed this further east direction to Camp Lodge Bay it's beautiful we're gonna watch sunset here Nice, quiet little bay here. It's been here actually. It's been here like for four years, maybe seven years. But seven been, years. Been the career I'm doing right now. It's probably a year now. The new owner. Renovated, yeah. The new owner. Yeah. Yeah. The new owner. Nice. So it's a nice location. This, this was abandoned. It was a really abandoned. Abandoned. Yeah, after. because the street, the street was nasty. Bad, bad. Bad yeah. street. That's the that's from the payroll from the street yeah. side. Yeah. To get in here, it was like an hour. Oh wow, or more. Yeah. so it was ugly. So nobody used to come in here. No one, much people does not know about it. Yeah. So now it's picking back up. It's picking back up really nice. After they paved the road, after they paved the road, <laughs> after the new owners, yeah. yeah, everything is coming back so nice. I know you're not from here, but if you guys living here right now, you're we're staying in on Parrot. vacation. On vacation, we're, we're staying in Parrot Tree. Oh, nice, nice. And first time been on Island, or no. you've been here before? No, we used to. I had a friend of mine that had a home in Brick Bay, so we okay. to, we've been coming down here for years. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice, nice. I mean, nice to meet you guys. Nice. Very nice. nice. Just finished having lunch over at the Cove restaurant in Palomino Bay. I think we're going to walk out here to the end of the dock, jump in a hammock, sit out here and watch the sun go down. Perfect way to end 2020 and get ready for New Year's Eve tonight. Over and out.
This is the uh, pool down at the Parrot Tree Resort. Absolutely gorgeous. New Year's Day 2021. Not a bad way to start the new year, I can guarantee that. Got some people out here, not a lot. Beautiful sunny sky, palm trees are swaying. So Tanya and I were just out doing a little exploring this morning in the Jeep, hit some of these back roads. Some of these roads are horrific down here, but we're going from one little small villa to another and we come across this little cemetery. It's Oceanside for your final resting place. Way far down on the east end past Camp Bay and uh, coming out to see this little restaurant here's the bathroom banos right here you can see the uh, outdoor literally outdoor outhouse it's called uh, La Serena so it's a absolutely beautiful day on the island hi how are y'all doing okay thank you it's good to be here we saw you with Chrissy Huh? The other day, my husband and I? Yeah. Hey guys. Yeah. How are y'all? Monkey yeah. Dollars, and I heard you have the best Monkey Dollars on the island. We are making the Monkey Lab. Meloni? Best one on the island. <laughs> okay. So, who said that you had the best Monkey Lollas on the island? That's what we heard. Yeah. <laughs> Bob. Bob. Okay, I go uh, put the Melonis, and uh, now I'm going with the. Uh, vodka. Secret sauce. Secret sauce. Yeah, that's yes. for sure. Yes. Yes. Yes, my friends. I put a little bit, little bit. A little bit of, a little bit of cruising rum. This is for the good flavor. Good the smoothie. Deal. The smoothie. <laughs> good job, Walter. <laughs> Thank you so much. He's proud of his monkey lalas. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yes. The one here is soft. Yeah. Whatever, Walter. Just get us drunk. <laughs> yes. Good job, Walter. Those yeah. look fabulous. <laughs> yeah. It's a W. And it looks it looks great. And Randall uh, put the, the straw in there. This is Randall, the other bartender. Yeah. There we go. All right. There All right. Go. Come on. Monkey Lala's yeah. on Island at yeah. La Serena. Yeah. yeah. Nice to Walter's Monkey Lala. <laughs> These little hummingbirds are putting on quite the show. Randall's inside. Of course, the guys in there, they love chatting with him, so he's finishing up a beer. He'll be out here in a minute, hopefully. Randall's coming to join me now. He's got a good monkey, Lala, hopefully. How do you like yours? Muy bueno, Mama. Muy bueno. I know, they're delicious. Here you are at the end of the dock. Sitting on the dock of the bay. Is it locked? Oh. Randall, if a door's opportunity, it's open, it looks like we're going in. Going on. So we just rode up this road, opened a gate down at the bottom. It said uh, um, private residence, Old Port Rural. And we're driving across here, but look at this view, absolutely gorgeous. Totally, totally on the east end of the big island of Roatan. But yeah, it's absolutely amazing. And so we're headed down there on the drop off. 
There's our Jeep that we've been abusing the hell out of all week. Coconut's coming down. Lime in the coconut. I got, I got a crack. That's successful, but you gotta crack it. That's a tough husk. They always are. Always. There you go. There's the meat that we're looking for. Yummy. We got the lime and the coconut. Got the lime and the coconut. Got the lime and the... I need my rum to pour in here. <laughs> Let's get a drink. Oh, sticky icky. Sticky coconut That's coming it. in. That's the way we do it on island. <laughs> I say we uh, throw the drone up, take a panoramic look around here and see what's down here. Cause you ain't seeing shit from sea level. We gotta get up above. Okay. Saying bye to our villa. Tony's washing the last glass. Bye, thank you, Vista. Love it. <laughs> Trip's over for this time. One more nice little view of the bay in the pool. We are packed up, loaded up, and headed to the airport. Headed back to the U.S. So we just got on the plane, headed back to Miami, and then to Dallas. Damn, look at the well shark on the side of this plane. Honduras got it going on. Got a scuba dive on there.